Hey guys, it's Miles, and welcome back to the channel here today. So today, um, we have two minifigures that I got custom made. Um, and yeah, I just want to kind of show you guys the quality, give my overall assessment of it. Because, come on, I'm not about to drop 25 bucks on an Iron Spider minifigure when I can pay 6 bucks to get it custom made. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so first off we have the Iron Spider, as you can see here, um, if you look under the leg, there's no official Lego symbol. Um, so you therefore know that this is not Lego. Um, official Lego, yeah. So yeah, you can see, um, on the back of the legs as well. But yeah, overall guys, so this is like custom made. I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, obviously it can't really level up to an official Lego minifigure. But for how much I paid for this compared to the price of, say, the real Iron Spider minifigure, it's pretty fair. And you can, the blue, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is a little bit of a lighter tone than what is seen on the official minifigure. But that is completely fine. The, um, the head print there, you, can, you can't even tell the difference between the official and non-official. So yeah, overall, I'm going to give this minifigure an 8 out of 10. So next up, we have um, Peter Parker in his Midtown High jacket. Um, so basically, you know, I think this minifigure is pretty good. It's just, I feel like this one, it's just so much more obvious it's not real Lego. So you can tell they went for, tried to make it look as much like Tom Holland as possible with the head. The hair piece looks pretty good. It's basically just a replication of the um, Lego one. The head piece, um, like the, I don't know, I mean it looks good. But it's like so obvious that it's fake Lego. And that printing there at the feet, like it's just not polished enough. I feel like you can tell that it's not real Lego. Um, the torso I really like, it's very detailed, you can see there's like a backpack on the back. I really like it, but again, you can just very much so tell it's fake Lego. So overall, I'm gonna give this minifigure a 6 out of 10. So yeah, there you have it guys, there are my two custom Lego made minifigures. I obviously didn't make them, I wanna make that clear, I bought them. But yeah, um, overall I really like how these turned out, and um, I definitely prefer the Iron Spider. I mainly got it for the Iron Spider, you know, just because I haven't really needed that in my collection because it's such a cool minifigure. And from the looks of it, we're not going to be seeing it in official sets again. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Um, I also joined my Discord server. Um, I put a link in the About tab. And um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video very soon. Bye, everyone.